Okay, in this video I will demonstrate the calibration of the ST50. Let's start uh, by turning on the unit. Uh, the power switch is on the rear panel. You flip it up and that uh, turns on the unit. Screen comes up displaying a logo and then it shows the main menu. Uh, you select calibration and uh, in the calibration you press the recal button. The default password to enter in the calibration mode is 1113 and then you hit enter. On the next screen you will see uh, the weight, the pulley radius and the unit system to be used uh, in the calibration. And for whatever reason you want to you can change these numbers. Uh, but for now, during this calibration, I'll pick the 5 pound weight and uh, we'll use the clamping assembly, the clamping platform as the pulley. There is a groove in the clamping platform and uh, the radius of this pulley is 3.3 uh, inches. I've already entered the numbers according and uh, I hit the next button. Uh, on the next screen the display says uh, uh, to follow the instructions uh, on the screen and uh, the first step is to unload the pulley and then press the next key. I just did that. The next instruction is to hang the weight on the side of the pulley. In order to hang the weight you have to use the calibration wire and uh, there's a um, uh, screw with a shoulder board, a shoulder board on uh, on this side of the pulley, and uh, there's also this frame that you have to attach. And use the knobs provided in the calibration kit to secure the frame. The next step is to make sure that the wire runs in the groove and it stays secure in the small pulley and hang the weight on at the end. If you need clearance move the machine to the side of the table. That's just to make sure that the hanging weight is not interfering with anything else. Then press the next. And in the next step, hang the weight on the other side. This is to calibrate the transducer or the display both clockwise and counterclockwise. And press the next key. And when that's done, the unit is calibrated. And you can test the linearity in, uh, in the torque readout screen by hanging, uh, hanging different weights on the, on the pulley. Just always make sure when you hang the weight on that the wire is running inside the groove on the pulley. The same way you can hang the 10 pound weight on and check the readout on the screen. And then you can also hang uh, a number of different weights or a combination of the different weights on. Just make sure that the weights are not uh, vibrating and they are not excessively moving otherwise the readout may be inaccurate. Here's the shoulder board and the wire is either running in that direction and into the groove or you can remove the weight on the other side and run the wire in this direction and then run it through the pulley at the end and hang the weight. So the calibration again now just focusing on the screen. Uh, when you recalibrate press the recal type in the password 1113 the default password is hit enter accept the variables on the screen or depending on the weight that you're using you can change the weight or the pulley radius just remember it's the radius and not the not the diameter of the pulley and uh, typically for the ST50 we recommend uh, fixing the pulley radius don't ever change it 
and just use this clamping table for uh, the radius or pulley and uh, then after everything is correct or making sure confirming that every variable is correct press the next key uh, on this screen just follow the instructions unload the pulley then press the next key uh, next step is to uh, weigh the hang the weight on uh, one side of the pulley which I'm trying to do now make sure that the wire runs in the groove on the pulley press the next and then run the wire around the pulley in the other di direction hang the weight make sure it's not wobbling press the next key and now the machine is calibrated and you should see the actual value and the reference value and they should stay uh, within 0 0.25 inch pounds if I hang a different weight on you can check the linearity on the same screen and then when the calibration and linearity check is done you can hit the back key 